So then, accordions are a new component in Bootstrap 5, and they're essentially a way to collapse or uncollapse boxes of content that kind of belong together. So when they're collapsed, the content doesn't take up as much room on the page, or it takes up no room, should I say. And you can see that example right here. If I collapse it, then we don't see the content. And when one opens, it closes the others as well. You can also make it so that auto closing doesn't happen when we click on a different title. So let's try this out in our code. All right then, so we're gonna place our accordion right here, topics at a glance underneath the pricing section. And basically it's a way for us to show a bit of a book breakdown, the different chapters and what's in each chapter. Now we're gonna use the grid system again here because on the left, we're gonna have another image of the book, which is the Kindle image. And on the right, we're gonna have the accordion. So let me first of all create the section tag and this is going to have an ID of topics which remember is what this link at the top if we go up to the nav bar right here about the book that links to this and by the way if I scroll up we can see this in action if I go to buy now it's going to scroll to this section which is quite nice and it's going to do that for each section so let me go back down to this topic section all right then, now inside here, the first thing I'll do is create a container. So div.container, and it's gonna be MD. So it's gonna be 100% width until medium screens, and at that point, it's gonna to go to that fixed column in the middle and change every breakpoint. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is a bit of a title and intro text for this section. I'm gonna paste that in. We have a div with a class of text center, then an H2, then a paragraph tag, lead, text muted, and a bit of text. So if we take a look at this, we can see this in action. All right, there it is. Now, after this, we need our grid. So we start with a row, div.row like so. And this is gonna have some margin in the Y direction. So MY hyphen five. Also for this row, I wanna make the gap of the grid pretty big so I'm gonna say G hyphen five remember we saw that class in the last lesson I'm also gonna say justify hyphen content hyphen around and that means basically spread around any free space if we only use maybe nine or eight columns take the rest of the columns and kind of spread it around the elements so all the gaps are equal so that's that one and also align items hyphen center, so they're centrally aligned all the items in the grid vertically. Okay, so tab, and now we have the row. So the thing on the left is gonna be the image. Let's make a div for that, and we'll say col hyphen six. So this is gonna be by default for very small screens, and then col hyphen LG, when it reaches large screens, it's gonna be four, so hyphen four. Inside here, I'm gonna do an image, and the source is gonna go into assets and it's this one right here, Kindle. So let's click on that. And then also we'll give this a class. And this is gonna be equal to image hyphen fluid like so. And the alt is just gonna be ebook. All right, so that's our image on the left. Let's take a look at that. Okay, it's not on the left at the minute, but that's just because we only have this one thing in the grid and we said justify content around. If I take that off, it's gonna be on the left, right? Let's take a look, yep, on the left. Okay, so the next thing we need is the accordion itself. So let's do a comment and say accordion. And then underneath the accordion, first of all, a div with a class of accordion. So that's the class that Bootstrap uses for an accordion. And also I'm gonna give this an ID and this ID is gonna be equal to chapters. So we're gonna describe the different chapters in the book here. All right, so we have several items in an accordion, right? And each item is gonna have like a header that we can click on and also some content which collapses. So first of all, let's do a div with a class of accordion hyphen item. So this accordion item surrounds the header the title that we click and also the content that collapses. So let's do the header first of all, H2, and we give this a class of accordion hyphen header. And also I'm gonna give this an ID just to identify this header. And that is gonna be heading one. So inside the H2, I'm now gonna do a button. 
and this is the button we're going to click on to open and close that particular section this accordion item now what i'm going to do is paste in a few different attributes in here so you don't have to watch me type them out from scratch and then i'm going to explain each one so let me paste them in right here so we have a class first of all which is accordion button that styles it then the type is button then we have this data attribute data bs toggle and we set that equal to collapse so that describes the behavior of what this button is basically going to do and bootstrap knows that now then we have the target data attribute which is going to be id chapter one so that is going to be the id of the section of content that is going to toggle then we have aria expanded is equal to true and that's because by default this first section is going to be open and we'll sort that out in a second and then finally aria controls equals chapter one that's what this button controls chapter one and that is the same as the id right here so we have that button but we also need some text inside it so i'm going to say chapter one hyphen your first web page so that's the oops let's get this correct for a start web page that's the title of the chapter and that is also the accordion header done now if we save this and take a look at it so far it's not going to look like much and it doesn't do anything when we click on it but we can see it is styled as an accordion header and we can see this arrow right here to let us know that this is toggleable all right so let's do the content for this so we have the header underneath the h2 we now want to do a div for the content so i'm going to say div and i'm going to give this an id of chapter hyphen one and remember we said that the target of this button was the div with chapter one as the id so it knows to open this one and close this all right so we also need to apply some classes to that and other attributes as well which again i'm just going to copy from my repo and paste them in so you don't have to watch me type them out from scratch we have a class of accordion collapse that describes what this div does it collapses and opens and also collapse as well and then this class right here show it means by default when we load the page this is going to show it's going to be open if we didn't have this it would be closed also we see aria labeled by heading one and remember this is heading one so we're associating this content with this heading so we're just telling screen readers this and then the parent is a data attribute to say what is the parent of this what accordion does this belong to and we're saying it's this one right here with an id of chapters so it knows that this is in the same accordion as this basically so that's all there is to it and inside this now we can output the accordion body the actual content so we'll do a div with a class of accordion hyphen body and again i've not memorized all this by any means you just need to check out the documentation if you're unsure what classes to use i would never recommend anyone memorize all these classes that's just a totally pointless exercise and a complete waste of space in your mind just check out the docs so accordion body inside here we'll do some lorem so let's do that and another p tag as well lorem like so so hopefully if i save this now and scroll down we can see that this is open if i click on this it closes it open closed open closed etc so that's pretty good if i take away the show class right here and save it then scroll down we can see by default it doesn't show to begin with when i add it it does show to begin with okay so now that's the first chapter what i'm going to do is basically copy this and paste it down below to create other chapters so in fact what i'll do is copy it from my repo because it makes no sense for me to write all of these out from scratch so let me just grab all these and paste them in below this div right here this item so let me paste it here and one of the only bad things about using bootstrap is that you sometimes see these divs are quite nested and it becomes hard to see where one ends and one starts so i sometimes leave comments at the end of divs but alas i didn't this time so we have five accordion items right here so after the first one you can see we've got another accordion item and it has exactly the same things inside it the accordion header the id the button and the type and the toggle the target which is chapter two and these aria labels as well some text and then we have 
the actual div for the content, which is accordion collapse, collapse. We don't say show by default because we only want to show the first one by default. The ID is chapter two. The parent is chapters, which is the whole accordion and then the body. And it's the same for every one. Instead of heading two, it's heading three, etc. chapter three, heading four, chapter four. So it's basically just the same thing over and over again. All I've done is change the ID of these things right here. So it's four instead of three, four instead of three, four, etc. So if I save this, hopefully it will see all of those like this and they all work. And when we click on a different one, it closes the other. All right. So that's OK right here, but it's not inside the grid, is it? So let's have a look at this. We have this inside the row. We just need to place this accordion in some kind of column. So let's do that. I'm going to above the accordion do another div and this is going to have a class of col hyphen LG hyphen six. And what that means is for very, very small screens, extra small, it's going to be full width because we don't specify anything for below large screens. So it's just automatically going to be full width. Then when we get to a large screen, it's going to be six columns in width as is this. So six plus six. Oh, sorry. It's going to be four on a large screen. So we have 10. So there will be a little space around it. Let's take this closing div and go to the end of the accordion, which is somewhere down here. Whew, I need to find this now. I'm pretty sure it's this one. So let me place the closing div right here and see if this works. I'm going to save it. And yep, that looks about right. So the small screens is like this. And then as we get bigger, they go next to each other. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That is our accordion.